Hello traders, today I'm going to show you how to download good quality Dukas Tick data and import it into MT4. Without high quality data, any testing you do could be subject to variance because of data gaps. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Quant Data Manager site, click on the download, and it'll ask us to register to get our free license. So for this case, I'm just going to grab a temporary email. This then means that any spam is not going to come into my main email. So enter my name and my email and click on get free license. When it loads, it will give us the link to download the program. So we'll go and click on the installer. You can click on the zip if you want. The zip is the fully extracted program ready to run. If we go over to our email address, we'll find the uh, confirmation of the subscription. So we'll click on the confirm there. And then once we've confirmed, and it might take a couple of minutes, uh, I cut the video here. But a couple of minutes after this, you will see your license code in your email address. So go in and copy that so that we can enter it into the program once we have it installed. So after installing the Quant Data Manager program and you load it up, you'll get that page. So enter your code that you got in your email and then wait for it to load up. The first time you load it up, it might take a while because it's loading all its plugins and what have you. So we'll wait for it to do that. It only takes sort of 10 or 15 seconds. And then here you have it. So this is what the program looks like. You can pick a light or a dark skin. I prefer the dark. And we're in. So we're ready now to go ahead and get this data. So now it is time to download this data. If we go up the top, you see all the different sources for the data. We want to use Dukas Copy Data. So we go Add Instrument, and then it gives us all the different instruments that are available from the Dukas Copy Data. As you can see, there's quite a lot. There's all the currencies, there's the indexes, commodities, and it even goes so far down to uh, individual shares. And you can see the available data range. So for the case of this example, we'll click the Euro USD and in it adds the symbol into our list. If we want to add more, we just do the same thing, add more and tick the boxes that we want. So we can tick the Aussie and the pound and in they come too. Now the next thing we want to do is download the symbols. So whichever ones you tick, we will be downloading. So at the moment I've got them all ticked, so they're all going to be downloaded. And you can see at the top there it says multiple. And you can choose the date range that you want the data to be downloaded for. The last six months is probably a good amount. And then we click on start download. And then over on the right, you'll see the download progress. Now I only downloaded six months because otherwise it probably takes roughly about an hour a year to download the free data. Now that's the advantage of having the, um, the paid version of this program is you get to download it quicker from their servers. 
So what I'm going to do to speed this up is just stop a couple of these pairs and we'll only download the Euro USD pair. As you can see though, even though I've stopped it, it's downloaded a few days of data. So we'll let the uh, Euro USD download and we'll come back to it once it's completed and we'll export it into MT4. Okay, now we're back and the download has completed. As you can see, we've downloaded half a year's worth of data, 181 days from February this year on the Euro. So we'll tick the Euro because that's when we want to export, go up to export and then click on the export to MT4 tab. And that brings us up with all the different options. So the first one is the amount of the time that we want to export. So because we've only downloaded the six months of data, we'll click on all time. But if you had years and years of data, you can click on uh, the last five years, the last six months, if you just wanted that little section. Now, next up is our MT4 directory. So if you go into select, it brings up the, the browser box and you select where your MT4 is installed. Thankfully, it uh, finds your data folder in MT4 nice and easily and automatically puts it in there for you. Uh, click on the server name you're using. So if you're using a live one, put your live or the demo. Uh, and then there's all the different values that the data is uh, putting on. So it's got the, uh, the pip size and the swap and all those kinds of data. They can all be changed, but for the case of this simple exercise, we'll leave it at that. So you click on start and then just like downloading, it has the status bar, except it's a lot quicker because this is just transforming it on your computer and copying it across to MT4. So now here we are in MT4 with our exported data. First thing is we can choose our date. We can set to start from a particular time and go to a particular time. Or if we untick the uh, use data tick box, then we use all the data. So because we've only got six months, we'll just use all the data. Now in here we want to be visualizing the data to show you that it's all in there and it doesn't have any gaps. So we're going to use the visual mode so that we can see the, uh, the data stream past us and we'll set it about halfway so that it's not too fast at the start. Now over here we can do the spread. Um, we'll just keep it as default and you can also choose the period that you want to use. So we go and click start and that will begin our back test. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just make it so that the uh, data is zoomed out a bit so that when we speed it up, we can actually see it. So this is one minute candles. And so they're occurring quite quickly, but we're only kind of going through a day every few seconds. But up, down, up, down, up, down, you can see the rubbish example EA trading. So if we slow it down using that uh, visual mode slider, you can see that you get to the left, it slows down and the right, it speeds up. But really, I've found that it's only that last little tick that makes a difference. You either go from super duper fast to relatively slow, which is what we're seeing at the moment. So we're seeing the uh, one minute bars being formed. And as we go along, we're seeing more of the data to give you an idea. And we'll just stop it there. Now you can also use it without the visual mode to test your MT4 EAs. So we run that and you can see that it goes quite a bit quicker. So that six months went through that quick on this EA and the EA is pretty rubbish, but that's all the trades that it made. And there we have it. We have exported our data that we downloaded into MT4, and now we're using it to run gap-free tests.
I hope you found that video on how to download and import good quality Duke's tick data into MT4 useful. There are other videos on my channel on how to be a better trader and the tools to help you. So until next time, happy pipping.